Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I'm an Airtable and Zapier consultant. In this video, we are going to be exploring the topic of color in terms of the Airtable database. So Airtable gives us the ability to use color to uh, you know, get a lot of information very quickly from our records just by putting some conditional formatting or assigning color to a particular field. So without further ado, let's jump on in. I'm gonna show you how you can get more information more quickly from your database using color. Welcome to Entrepreneurship by the Numbers, where we help unlock the potential of your business with data-driven metrics. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into a very simple example database. So you see here we've got uh, some different data points. None of this is really going to make a lot of sense because uh, these data points aren't built with a specific workflow or you know a specific uh, type of data in mind. Really, I just wanted to fill some data points up there so that we could have some examples to work with. So we're going to start in the grid view and take a look at this. So you see that we've got uh, two uh, single select fields. This is a single select with the example data and we have a single select with the process steps. So if we wanted to create another field that was specifically used for color, we could. We can call that the color field. Uh, and we can go ahead and, uh, excuse me, do a single select here and then we can pick, let's say we had a few colors, just name the color and then select the color that's associated with that name and let's just do a like a red and a blue. So in this example, uh, you know, we're using a specific field to draw to drive color. Normally I wouldn't do it this way and I'll show you some more uh, in-depth examples. But for this simple example here, we're just assigning a color to all of these in this single select field. Now what we're going to do is actually go up to the color uh, button in the toolbar and tell it that we want to color the records based on the single select field. Now you see it automatically sets up with the first single select field, which is example data. So all of these records are now taking the color of the option in example data. So this orange, blue, and purple. But we can change this by, by just selecting the drop down and we can put it, we can assign the color to whatever field, single select field we want. In this case, I'll pick that color field. And now you see I've got red and blue colors on my records. Now, the best part about this is as we expand our table, if we had a table full of data, uh, when we're moving around in here, that color is always going to be there locked on the far left as a part of our primary field. So that is kind of nice to know. The, on one hand, I would like to see the color maybe on the entire record, so the entire row being that color, but I think in all honesty, it would probably be an eyesore and make it difficult to look at data. So I'm kind of glad they didn't go that direction. So instead, we just see the color here. Also, if we expand the record, we're always going to have it up here by the primary field ID. So that's pretty neat. And that's how we're going to see color uh, reflective in the grid view. So that is how to use that uh, single select field. The other option, of course, is to build a condition on our color. So let me get, go ahead and get rid of this field. And if we wanted to instead build a condition, uh, for color, we could say something like this. Let's suppose we wanted to track all of the records where something hadn't been delivered yet. So we have delivery date, but if it's blank or empty, we want to add some color to that record so that it uh, is eye-catching so that we know. And this is where colors, in my opinion, become incredibly valuable because we're able to add the extra um, the extra at a glance information so that we know just by looking that record 1003 has not been delivered and we don't even have to move our eyes over to the delivery date. That's especially useful if we're in a different view that doesn't have delivery date available, we can just tell by the color of the record uh, that that is the case. So that's how to use the conditional and of course we can set up multiple conditions so you can add a color and you could say I want to make it orange in the case where the shipping date is blank for example. And you'll see in this case, uh, since there is no shipping date or delivery date, that is going to take precedence. So it says here that records are assigned to the first color that they match. So in this case, we have the delivery date being empty and the shipping date being empty. And so that pink is going to pull in first. We can reorder our conditions. And now the shipping date is empty, so it gets orange. And the delivery date is empty for this one. And so it gets the pink assigned to it. 
Great, and you can even set a fallback color, which is essentially like a, de a default color, where if none of the conditions are met, it has, you know, maybe a nice soothing color <laughs> to tell you that, you know, it's, it's fully both shipped and delivered. So that is how we can set up color and essentially the same rules apply no matter what type of view you're in, whether you're in a calendar view, a Kanban view, etc., with some exceptions. So let's jump really quickly into some different views and explore using color in those. So let's go ahead and create a new view here and we will do a Kanban view. So we will set this up to process steps. So we've got these five steps, for example, in this company and we want to see some color on uh, these records. Well, we have the same two options here. We can do a select field or conditions. Uh, and the nice thing about the select fields is even though that information isn't on our card, um, the example data, we still see the color on it. And so that's where we're going to get that at a glance information without necessarily having to clutter up our cards. Of course, we can add that data to our cards by clicking customize cards and we want to bring in that example data. And you'll see, of course, it's going to match in all cases. Uh, and similarly, we can use the color conditions option to write some conditional uh, formatting so that we're getting our records colored in that way as well. So this is great in the cases where, uh, you know, let's say, for example, we, we didn't want to have our example data show on our card, but we still wanted to know what that example data was. Uh, this could be something along the lines of, you know, if you've had a customer pay or you haven't received payment yet, you might color it red, things of that nature that uh, are really helpful to know when you're managing a workflow with, uh, you know, customers in a CRM or something along those lines. Lastly, let's jump into that calendar view. So calendars can be set up if you're on the pro subscription with um, multiple dates. And so if we wanted to map out our shipping date and we wanted to map out our delivery date as well, we would do it like that. And uh, so we can just have this data here, but it looks a lot cooler if we start adding color. You'll see that in the calendar view, we actually have the option of setting colors to the date fields as well. So we can actually uh, set up the date fields so that they have uh, a specific color depending on the type of record that we're pulling in. So in this case, we're going to bring in, let's say, shipping date, and we want to have it, you know, be a, a teal, and we can assign an orange to that delivery date. We can do that all right there. If we wanted to map additional dates as well, we could do so and assign them a unique color so that just at a glance, it's really easy to know what data is on our calendar. The other options, of course, are to set conditional formatting similarly to as we did previously. And you can also always use that single select field again. So if you wanted to pull in the colors from the example data, single select field, uh, you can do it very quickly. Uh, so this is all available just at the click of a button and it really helps make your data just like that much more simple to digest. And that uh, it really just talks to you that much more quickly without you having to, you know, dive into the numbers quite as much. So the nice part about colors is it really gives you the opportunity to just, you know, get that data at a glance. And let's be honest, it's just more appealing to the eye as well. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be very valuable. Uh, quick shout out to 615 Entertainment Agency who posed this question on another um, video. And uh, as always, you know, I want to encourage everybody to uh, reach out if you have any questions. Definitely leave comments and I will answer those as quickly as I can. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.